Hello and welcome to the World to Pose podcast, your wiki, domain wiki. for darkdom. This is wiki, wiki. This is Lunchbox, Ivy, Scruffy on the Sea Trap, the Power Nerd, and we actually have a good friend of ours back in town from Boston. Boston. That's Mike. What's up, guys? Mike is. And uh, we got quite a bit of stuff to talk about. Uh, well, we do also have a. Uh, <laughs> Onlooker here, just Silent Bob, just just listening in, <laughs> but hanging Jess. out. Sil- Silent Jess here. Yeah. We're you eventually some, gonna get him to say something. Some giggling. Oh, she'll she'll say stuff. So sure. the story is, uh, Mike says like, "Yeah, let's do the podcast." Then invited Jessica like and didn't tell her. I, yeah, <laughs> like, I, I, no warning at all. Yeah, you're so. like, you know, you're gonna be on a podcast, right? She's like, oh, it's a trial. Nope. <laughs> it's a trial by fire here. So. Damn right. But yeah, we got lots of nerdy stuff to talk about. Lots of video games, like I said the last time. Too many video games came out, so we have a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's let's just get rolling on this. All right. So uh, first things first. Obvious thing that we have to talk about: Star Wars uh, mm-hmm. finally released their trailer on Black Friday morning. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> people didn't have enough to freak out about. Oh. Right? At least you weren't focusing on Black Friday. Oh. <laughs> too soon. Uh, too, too nah, soon. it's never too soon. <laughs> um, this is the internet, dude. It's never too soon. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, I mean, Star Wars... Finally, finally something. <laughs> Wait, I was trying to think of a joke, and I think I got it. Every a lot of those shops were offering things a hundred percent off. <laughs> <laughs> True. Wow, we were horrible because they were cool. <laughs> <laughs> or burned to the ground. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so, other than stupid bullshit aside, what'd you guys think? Oh man, I'm so excited for this damn movie. So am I. Um, I don't know, like, me and a couple of friends were debating the the light, the new lightsaber, that the design that they showed. Why? What, what about it? It's what? Excalibur. Well, it's so cool. <laughs> well, you have to think, okay, just coming from, like, sword mechanics, like, it almost makes sense, because, like, whatever stopped the lightsaber from just, like, sliding down and just slicing off your hand? Exactly, and that was my point, because, like, we were there talking about, guard. they were like, well, that doesn't make fit sense because it's not functional. I was like, dude, that's, it's a hilt. Yeah. It's to guard his hand. Yeah. And obviously... And you, and you can use that kind of, like, even disarm them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you know, I bet Luke's... Uh, and some people are like... one of those. I don't know, like, they're like... They're like, that's not functional. I was like, have you ever seen a broadsword? Like, yeah, dude, it's it's the broadsword. Yeah. Like, and they're like, that's heavy. I was like, I can't imagine that a, a lightsaber would be heavy as a broadsword. Let's nah, it's, it's, be ridiculous. It's well, light I, well, it's a Well, it's, it's a lightsaber, so it's... <laughs> It's just the weight of the hill. <laughs> so, yep. yeah. That's it. So, so it was, well, it was I, a pretty interesting conversation. I, I think I think the the problem is you know there's a lot of the uh, uh, the yes <laughs> sorry <laughs> a, lot, a lot of a lot of you know the, the fan base really looks at uh, compares Jedi to samurais. I mean, look at the way they hold their their lightsabers when they when they fight they or when they close. And, yep. Yeah, they, I mean they they hold them. You know, yep. double-handed. High. You know, up high. You know, very, very much like you know the old samurai. Yeah. So, of course, they're gonna look you know at something that's like more European. Know, yeah, kind more of medieval. Strange. Even yeah, yeah, kind of sideways because they're not gonna. Uh, it just not doesn't seem nobody right. likes change. No. Yeah. yeah, nerds no. don't like change. Definitely not. I think the funniest thing I saw was just somebody's just like. It's all right, guys. Calm down. That the the, the made up science sword is <laughs> up to your standards. <laughs> well, okay, so here's one thing that's kind of confusing to me though: is that little R two unit that, had, that looked like it was like a the ball the ball, the droid? ball yeah. droid. They see him. Rolling. It was like it was like a FIFA spokesman. Like, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> like if there's if there's one thing that I do have to like just from the actual uh, trailer itself. The mixture of the practical effects and the visual effects is exactly what I was looking for. Like, the droids look all practical and kind of lame like they used to in the back back in the day, but when it really counts when you're doing, like, spaceship battles and stuff like that, looks so good mm. and fast-paced. 
Like that's I think that's one of the things that Star Wars was really missing. You know, the one thing that I have to say that I didn't like was the speeder that she got on. Oh, it was like a giant fudge sickle. <laughs> yeah, it did. No, it's like, it's, it's like the Harley Davidsons of speeder bikes, though. I mean, like, I'd, I'd ride that thing. <laughs> Give me your clothes, your boots, and your speeder bike. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. Nothing's going to stop me from being excited for a new Star Wars movie. Even you, if the Stormtrooper's black? Dude, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it ain't first of all, white, it ain't right. When it they comes stopped to using clones after the Clone Wars was done because. I can't believe you just. Said that. Okay, do you hear I that? Know, this I is all. This is. But, I thought they threw out extended universe stuff. That's they, no, no, that's not extended no. universe. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's part of. The no, universe. that's that's part of the new extended universe. Oh, okay. So after the Clone Wars, basically what they did was they recruited new people because they couldn't use the clones anymore because. God, that's that, part that of the totally directive. validates the clerk's argument too. Then, yeah, that they are all new people. Like it's all, it's all soldiers that signed up for the for the empire and people and like was that. Just working schmoes working on the on the Death Star when it blew up. Then, yes, yes, yeah. rebel. Well, not in the first rebel one. Scum. Not in the first one. In the first one, that was a complete a complete space station. Okay, um, so that was all empire. Yeah. But in the second one, in in the second Death Star, poor not poor not, contract, not, not so much. <laughs> poor contract. They weren't unionized. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, Man, where, where else are you going to find the manpower to build a space station on like three days' notice? Man, I've always wanted to be a. I've always wanted to follow my dreams, being a, a chef on a space station. I'm so glad I can finally send home some good money to my wife and kids. Oh, <laughs> boom. <laughs> I hear Darth hey, Vader's kids sound? coming aboard this today. I don't know what's up with that, but I guess I should make something real nice. Bring your son. <laughs> Amber's on board today. We gotta keep construction to a minimum. At least put up, you know, put up some flags <laughs> so people know to stay away from the cliffs. Meanwhile, in Alderaan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <Is that> you? <laughs> yeah, space cricket. Because you know Alderaan's. Just dust now. <laughs> yeah, sad. Space dust sad. cricket. Hey, now that's too soon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we it was do... a long, long time ago. In the galaxy far, far away. <laughs> so they're not even American. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, I mean, Star Wars is always going to be a How big many part boners? of everybody's lives. How many boners? Lots. How many boners? On, on, do you on, a, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm. I, I'm going to put it about a nine. I, I would have liked more, but it's only an hour. I mean, it's only one and a half minutes, yeah. so you can't really expect much out of it because it's a teaser, teaser trailer. And it got me excited. Away. It got me excited, but it, it's just like not enough information. But see, the yeah. movies that they put out nowadays, they give too much. Yeah, in the I was trailer. really I, glad. I, that's one thing that they're really good at. I was with glad it was short. Because yeah. I was like, please don't show the whole movie in yeah. two, two minutes, you know? Don't yeah. show every scene so that when we watch it, we're like, yep. So every sorry. comedy every movie ever. Every, <laughs> uh, all of them. Even, I don't watch any Lord of the Rings previews unless I'm, I just can't help it, but usually I try not to. Yeah. yeah. So far, <laughs> it looks good. I just hope the rest of the movie looks as good as the uh, the preview did. Yeah. Um, otherwise, J.J. J. Abrams is going to be known as Jar Jar Abrams. That's, <laughs> for sure. That's for sure. I mean... Uh, like I said, with the visual effects that he's doing right now, it it looks promising. I'm really excited for it. So I'll, I'll say it like this: I have uh, more boners than Anakin Skywalker had midichlorians. <laughs> that's, that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit of boners. Yes. Quite a bit. <laughs> quite quite a quite a few boners there. Um, but yeah, in other Star Wars news, uh, sort sort of Kingdom Hearts is thinking about because it's Disney. They're thinking about throwing some Star Wars and uh, Marvel Universe stuff in the game. So that's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, it's one of my Kingdom favorite. Hearts 3? In Kingdom yep. Hearts 3, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I wonder so, if they're going to have Sora meet Deadpool. God, that would be, that would oh be my so God. awesome. That's the, <laughs> that's the replacement character that you get when you go to that world. Oh, that true. would be the best thing. It's not going to happen. Probably not. Though. No. No, nah, it's probably just going to be the Avengers and they show up and just smash everything. Probably, in the or maybe even like. Uh, 
Well, no, because Disney does not own the X Men franchise. No, they do it, not. No. As a movie, anyways. It, well, they. It's yeah. still it's still Marvel Comics. Yeah, but I'm they don't saying, own yeah, the they, movie they franchise. Wouldn't, they wouldn't probably put too many characters in that. No, it's probably going to be Avengers and. Whatever else they want to throw at it. I mean, it's... Maybe Spider... No? Disney. It's Disney. Spider-Man. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> You're saying, like, obviously if they do that, there's going to be a lightsaber keyblade. What do you think kind of keyblade they would they make for just the Marvel Universe, though? A keyblade that made turns of you adamantium. into Iron Man? Made of adamantium. Or made of... Yeah, adamantium keyblade. That'd yep. be cool. Yeah. That'd be dope. That'd be pretty cool. That would be super. Uh, this keyblade is made out of Wolfie's Goofy, skeleton. Goofy's, Goofy's barge shield would be Captain America's shield. Or Cap- <laughs> yeah, Goofy, Captain America's shield for Goofy's shield. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Donald would be Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what would Donald get? He'd be the Hulk. Something no. Hulk wise, because he's angry all he's the time. He's always angry. <laughs> <laughs> I can see him poking Into out. a big old green duck. Oh man, I love Kingdom Hearts. Do you know anything about when that's going to be a thing? 2015. Really? Next year? Everything's yep. 2015 right now. we got to get a PS4. Next year's about to be ridiculous. <laughs> well, like, King, you know. Kingdom Hearts is going to come out on PS4 and Xbox One. So, oh, wow. Worry. I got awesome. I got the PS4 on, on coming in soon. So. Yeah. Well, my, my PC. like It was like the first thing that went out when I moved out to, to Boston was my oh. my gaming PC just took a crap on me. Oh. So I had to, I had like, I've been playing nothing but indie games on like whatever little system I have. <laughs> well, well, of, like, I mean, indie games are good too. Well, bad. and I've been going through like my old library too of like playing my old games. So like if you have questions about like any old games <laughs> and want to nostalgic out, you know. Yeah, we got it. We got that down. How's Pac-Man doing? (laughs) Is he still uncontrollably guzzling cum? (laughs) Yeah, sometimes he puts on the bow. It's a problem, bro. He he says he's missed Pac-Man, but I see that. (laughs) (laughs) Would you fuck me? (laughs) (laughs) He just turns into that guy. (laughs) Goodbye, horses! Um, But uh, one of the things I have been looking at, though, is... um, I hate to segue into this subject, but uh, with uh, GT- the new GTA. Speaking of awkward segues. <laughs> Boston <laughs> Cream Pie. <That's> awesome. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> but the new, but the new uh, Grand Theft Auto for like the new next gen. This, yeah, this, this is PlayStation new, 4, yeah. Xbox One version of <laughs> if there's GTA 5. A, if there was anything that really just spurred my you know dedication to finally getting a next gen system, it's... It's been this. Yeah, it's so I've been a GTA fan for like the longest time, bought majority of almost all of the games. Um, but what they've done and, and how they've revised some of the, the problems with the uh, last generation's version like has just made the reinvestment it's, that much it's more awesome. worth it. Yeah. It's really good. They have added like more. first I mean first person Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. So much yeah. fun. <laughs> And like some of the other like little side things, like they actually added in uh, uh, peyote side quests. Yeah, like you find like these little cactuses around. You have these vivid uh, hallucinations that, that yeah. you're that you're an animal. So it's like you're an animal flying around the GTA, or, or like if you're like a bird or like a dog or whatever. Yeah. So. And you're actually wow. just sitting there next to like the same yeah. ore you bought earlier. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> but that sounds yeah. fun. But yeah, that's, that's one of the things, like, uh, one of the cool things about this is they're also doing a crossover thing, so if you have a GTA Five account for, for the last gen, yeah. if you have an online account for, like, your online yeah. character, you can actually just transfer that over to your new console and play it on the new console yeah, so you don't as well. have to worry about so you don't like have to worry about content, starting yeah. from the beginning online oh, again. Yeah. So they're doing some really cool stuff with this next gen. It's great. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna really put it to the test as soon as my copy gets in. Yeah. Um, I ordered it online, so that's why I gotta wait. Yeah. But I I came from Xbox and moving over to PlayStation Four. So. I was the same yep. way with this one. It's a new yeah. adventure. It's great. <laughs> Me and Stephanie actually earlier this week were talking about like, well, we were gonna get a PlayStation Four for each other for Christmas as like a co-op gift. We we're just like, nah, well, we should just wait. And so we have a PlayStation Four jar. Yeah. That we keep stashing money into. Smart. I got really excited the first day, and I'm like, I'm going to put a five in there. And another dollar. I'm going to get some change for my car. <laughs> I'm going to buy a PlayStation 4. <laughs> I put like six bucks in it, and today I put in two. 
We're so close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. Yeah, that's right. Eight dollars is eight dollars closer to the PlayStation Four, man. <laughs> Just three hundred and ninety-two to go. <laughs> <laughs> that, that tax. <coughs> Just four hundred and seventy-eight. <laughs> Damn it. Four hundred and twenty-two. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of PlayStation Four, I finished Far Cry Four exactly last night. So what's your uh? What's that's your... not actually a very exact point in time. Just exactly. putting that out there. It, it's just I, I had a goal. Uh, two weeks ago when we recorded the last podcast, I had a goal that I was going to do a full review of the game and I was going to play the whole game so that I knew exactly what everybody should be, should know when they get into it and so on and so forth, yada, yada, yada. So, so give me your rundown of it because I'm looking at getting it. So, uh, ha- did you play game. Far Cry 3? Yes. Did you like Far Cry 3? Yes. You're going to love Far Cry 4. All right. <laughs> okay. It sounds like they're just copy pasting like this. It's, it, a lot of it is copy paste. Yeah. Um, but they they added a twist, and I won't tell you what the twist is. Okay. But basically, I know what it is. That guy on the cover of the game is actually David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to watch any videos about that game. <laughs> no, it's not David Bowie. Uh, but he is played by the same guy that plays Joel in um, uh, Last of Us, okay. like the voice actor. And he also did uh, Booker from... Um, Bioshock Infinite. Mm. Oh. Yeah, he's he's that voice actor. So he's he familiar. yeah, <laughs> it's the same guy. He's the main <laughs> bad guy, and he is batshit crazy. So I like, love I, every I like, single bit of it. I, here, here's my question though, because I loved Voss. Voss was by far one of the best video game like, bad guys. Is is he on par with Voss? He's or is he like, he's close. Close. Um, you know how Jack in Borderlands Two would like call you up and just be like, "Oh, hey, by the way, I did this today." Yeah, and blah, like, blah, I got blah, a horse. And then... Pagan Min does that. Yeah, like he's just like, "So, uh, I had to uh, kill this chef because uh, you didn't like my crab rangoons." Um, <laughs> his family's going to be pretty pretty sad about that, but that's okay. He deserved it. <laughs> it's just like. Okay, this guy's fucking crazy. So exactly like Jack. Yeah, he's just like Jack, but at the same time, he's way more like dark and sinister. Yeah. So he's got like he, he's a mixture between Voss and Jack. Oh, okay. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's lots of laughs if you have a dark sense of humor. Uh, I got one of those. Yep. <laughs> Most gamers do. Yeah. Uh, so if if you have a dark sense of humor, you're going to be laughing throughout the whole entire game. Um, same same kind of mechanics with uh, wild animals and stuff like that, except they added one called bait. So basically, when you skin an animal, you don't only get their pelt, you also get bait. So basically, you take like the stinkiest part of the animal mm-hmm. and then you use that. So, like, you throw it, and then a predator from around the from around the vicinity comes towards the bait, so you can use the yeah, predators they, they kind to of, fight. I, if I remember right, they kind of played with that with. Uh... Blood Dragon. Like the, yeah, they did that yeah. with Blood Dragon. They did yeah. that for the Tyrannosaurus Rexes or whatever oh, yeah, they were. Yeah, the, the Lasersaurus Rex. Yeah, Lasersaurus <laughs> Rex. That game was this fucking thing, batty. Man. I love that game so much. <laughs> I thought I like the inner 80s child in me. It's I was like, so oh. good. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they, they use the bait, they use the bait system, um, except it baits all all of the predators in the in the wild. Um, I will say in Far Cry 3, sharks were the big deal. In this game, honey badgers are the biggest assholes in the whole entire world. <laughs> honey badgers? Seriously? Yes. The honey what? badgers the suck wild? Honey so badger. bad. No jaguars, no leopards. No, no... I mean, there, there's, there's leopards. There's three different types there's of leopards, actually, in this fucking dicks. game. They will fuck you up. Yeah, honey badgers are on assholes. Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> But in this game, they they do a really good job of making the honey badger the biggest douchebag on the freaking game. So, you okay? So you're just like walking around, and then all of a sudden you hear, click, click, click. <laughs> you're just like, fuck, fuck. <laughs> where is it? Start to panic. Where is it? You, you start here. seeing freaking grass moving around. You're just like, no. You start pouring bullets at it, and it's just like yeah, it comes out from the side. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Honey badgers are the worst, um, and and they hurt a lot. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, honey badgers suck. Uh, other than that, I mean, 
they're the worst predators out there in the game because they're small. <laughs> in the world, not just the it's game. In, yeah, in the world, they're small. Just help you think about it. They're small and they're mean. <laughs> they suck. Uh, but yeah, Far Cry 4, storyline-wise, it, it didn't really quite pull me in like Far Cry 3 did. But then again, Far Cry 3 didn't either because I didn't like the main character very much. Because yeah. uh, I'm not a douchebag. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> no, I get that. Like, I, I, like I, I didn't really. He's a bro. Yeah, I didn't associate myself with Jason Brody. No, bro. <laughs> His yeah. last name is. Brody. I see it now. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he's a complete yeah. bro, and I did not associate with him very well. But I felt for him. Yeah, I would love this game, man. <laughs> Ooh, right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Far Cry Four. If if you like a good first person shooter where. Uh, you get to make a, make decisions along the way. Yeah, definitely do it. Pick it up, play it, uh, enjoy it. I would say it's definitely a hit. I would give it a seventeen out of twenty. So <laughs> nice. Uh, it's definitely a hit, but it's far from a crit. So yeah, it's a lot of fun though. Are we doing the thing now? Yeah. That's how I'm doing. That it. is the thing. That's what that we're is, gonna do. That's how we implemented just no ex- yep. explanation. No, just... no, ex- no explanation. On a D twenty, it's a seventeen. That hits. Period. Boom. There that's the way is. it goes. It's not Ain't quite a nat you twenty. Didn't even warn us. Just, 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 just dang. <laughs> nice stealth roll, dog. Right. <laughs> it's a seven. Yeah. There you go. So uh, definitely pick it up if you if you like that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed my time the past two weeks playing it. So. I don't really want to play Far Cry 3, because, you know, it's I'm, like, so 10 million years behind any video game ever. Yeah, I, like... If I, you want if you want something, like... Yeah, like, if... if Far Cry 3 is going to be longer, but if you want just, like, a short, sweet little, you know, dip into the pool, we'll <laughs> pick up Blood Dragon. For Blood Dragon, Dragon is so fun. Can I just download that game? Yes, like, it's, you I can. Don't have it's to... standalone DLC. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I, might just, I might just do that. It it's was probably it was like too. it was twenty. It was like thirty dollars when it first came out. It was yeah. cheaper than the regular game, but it has all the same mechanics. Yeah, same right. mechanics. Like same. Is it like a full game? Yeah, yeah. It's a full game. You it's can put. Like, you can pour a good forty hours. Into instead Blood of throwing instead of throwing rocks to distract your enemy, you're throwing a gigantic d twenty. Yep. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. See you guys. Like, for real? <laughs> I gotta. Yeah. I gotta. I gotta leave the podcast now because I'm gonna go play this. <laughs> it's so fun, and uh, yeah, it, it, Blood Dragon's great. Um, but yeah, uh, the Far Cry Four was great. Um, GTA Five was fun. First person shooters. As long as we're reviewing games, Borderlands the pre sequel. Yeah. 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 Three weeks ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying, the game came out three weeks ago. Oh, okay. I'm Is not, I'm like not a... saying you suck three weeks. God, a whole <laughs> three weeks ago? I mean, that's what it sounded like. I didn't mean it, <laughs> I didn't mean it like this that. This is just like, oh yeah, I'll play Destiny with you. I'll I'll stoop down to your level of 360, peasant. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> wow. I did say that. <laughs> no, I was but... just like, oh man, slumming it over here. Yeah. <laughs> No, but Thanks Borderlands and pre-sequel, I, when I first heard about it, I was just like, oh, this just sounds like another DLC. This is going to be, like, badasses and bunkers or one of those, like, right. additional, like, playable things that's just, like, a little short thing. Let's, let's, okay. Yes, let's be honest. It is still Borderlands 2, but it's a completely new Borderlands 2. Have you been playing it? No, no I, I, then I, you have no idea. It's a completely different game. It's not Borderlands Two. Yeah, not at all. It is not at all Borderlands Two. It is a completely <laughs> standalone game, and it is pretty freaking fantastic. I, all the reviews I've heard is, said that. So, well, it's a Borderlands. Well, game. it's about. I suppose so, it's yeah. about the past. I mean, it's about it's about Jack when he was yeah, good. I mean, well, so it yeah, it's a Borderlands game, just that. like from what it sounded like. Far Cry Four is a Far Cry game. They added mm-hmm. some new mechanics, but it's the same game essentially, right? Yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah, it is. And like Halo, Halo, yeah. yeah, it's a first-person shooter game. It's like the thing is that they added some really good stuff in there. Like I kind of figured, like Borderlands One to Borderlands Two is a pretty good job. Yeah. Like they made things yeah, a lot better. Storyline, I, I like way, way, way better. In fact, I was actually playing Borderlands Two like. 
couple weeks ago, just yeah, you know, work, working my way through the storylines and like DLC that I didn't finish before. So yeah, I thought about actually picking up Borderland, the new Borderlands when it dropped. So I'm here to sell you. <laughs> You're gonna sell me. It's really good. Like uh, they like of course it's a Borderlands game. I mean. All the Borderlands games I played, just like the first one, it's just like, this is new, this is innovative, this is a RPG first-person shooter where you get to level up, and that's something new that I haven't seen before, and that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And so, that always, that sold me to the first one. The second's like, okay, good, they did the same thing. The third thing is, the third game, the pre-sequel, is just like, good, they're still doing the same thing. It's not one of those, like, like the skill oh, thing. okay, I'm just playing another one of these <laughs> games. Mass Effect. Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why don't we just throw Call out Duty uh, Wow, wow, wow. Mario Kart! <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what about just like World of Warcraft or Diablo? Like, you know, you still have the same thing. It's like a skill tree, you build up your character. I know, but that's what you love. Like, Diablo 3 wasn't anything, like, new. No. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of, I've been playing that lately, though, Yeah, too, Diablo so. 3 is great. I mean, we it's can fun. argue all day about how games should Are be similar. more innovative or whatever, but... Yeah. Borderlands, the pre-sequel, like, yeah. actually does that. They actually incorporate some really cool things. Yeah. You're on the moon, so instead of working with Pandora's gravity, you're actually working with, with the moon gravity. Moon gravity. Yeah, so it's like it's one fine. quarter moon, or one quarter... Gravity, yeah, and you actually like soar through the air, and you, you actually like double jump, have to worry of. about oxygen. Ooh. Like, you... Yeah, when you first start, it's really stressful. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, he chose to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. The... Is, sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> the, I'll let you, sorry. I'll let you finish. <laughs> <laughs> but Claptrap is the best <laughs> character in that game. <laughs> no, but uh, you start. You can pick your characters. It's uh, four of them. One of them is Claptrap. Yep. And so I'm like, of course I'm going to play as Claptrap. That's course, awesome. Yeah. That's hilarious. And uh, like, okay, she picked. You picked uh, the Athena. The gladiator, Athena. The gladiator. She's like the main character of the storyline. Um, and I picked Claptrap. And the choosing screen was like. Wait, hold on. Something went wrong. It looks like you accidentally picked to play Claptrap. We'll go ahead and uh, send you back. Or you, you didn't mean to play him, did you? And you're just like, yes, I did. It's just like, seriously? Claptrap? That annoying little robot that just makes like, this game so terrible? Yes. Just like... Okay, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, we won, yeah. he won a uh, Character of the Year award, for, but it was from Spike TV. Like, yeah, no, well, watches, I mean, he deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who the hell watches Spike TV? I love Claptrap. I don't watch Spike TV at all. Alex is Claptrap. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. He makes bad puns no! all day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I say Wall Sphincters again? Sometimes I say that when I'm excited. <laughs> it's weird. It's like we They're are... They're coming out of the Wall Sphincters! <laughs> yeah. It's like we are playing... Like, as ourselves. It's so cool. Being Gladiator, who, and, like, sometimes she'll just, like, randomly just be like, will you just shut up to the podcast? And I'm just like, thank you! Yeah. But I, I think that's funny because one of the things they introduce is you have to breathe air. Except for if you're Claptrap. Yeah. <laughs> because he's a robot. Oh, that's perfect, then. Yeah, it's just like, you don't want to play this character, and as soon as you get in the game, like, yeah, I do. I don't have to worry about oxygen. <laughs> so while Athena's over there, just like, hold on, I need to find an air pocket, I'm just like, ha 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 ha, oh, Claptrap! Yeah. He just runs away from me, and it's like, zero, zero. Like, you're yeah, scared. You, are, you are leaving the atmosphere. <laughs> no 50%. <oxygen. laughs> yeah, and I don't know, they add little things in like that that are just mm. make it a little bit newer. Yeah. And that's just what they need to do with newer games if they're going to work at the same point to be completely honest with you but it's going into Jack's past which is really cool too yeah. seeing like what really happened to him and I don't know you have some theories that act like why he has the fake face yeah why he has the fake face because there's like another skin you can download and so don't you think that he's not actually Jack in the second one did any of you guys play Borderlands 2 like a completionist yeah like uh, every single side quest yes uh, not exactly. Not not, not the not, DLC. Not all of not them. Not the DLC. Yeah. The main I game. did all of the side quests on that. Yeah. Yeah, most of them. There's a quest where you collect echoes about Jack's backstory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and it totally says like that's not the real handsome Jack. No. But this game is actually like going into. It's that like game. one of his bodyguards, right? Or something. Yeah. But uh, hopefully we, we haven't gotten that far. Yeah, yeah. we're almost there, but. There's always homework. Yeah, like the CEO, like his, <laughs> his boss keeps calling him John. It's just like, okay, that's really obvious, heavy alluding to what's going on right now. Yeah. 
And I also got, like, I don't know, I love that game so much, I also got the Handsome Jack, Handsome Jack Body Double d- DLC already. Nice. And he's probably the funniest character you can play. It's just like, so, how'd you get to working tour for this Handsome Jack as this body double? It's just like, you know, I think he's doing a lot of great stuff for the universe. I mean, Hyperion's a great company to work for, and, you know, student loans. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how it works. Anyways, I would you can't spell, the, spell diploma without I O A. Shit ton of money. <laughs> <laughs> I would give uh, Borderlands pre sequel, uh, yeah, probably about a 17 or an 18. Yeah. No, yeah, probably more closer to an 18 because Borderlands just makes great games and they're innovating just a little bit, but it's not as much as they could. 17. 17? Yeah. Oh, still like I, I I can't wait for the next gen version of Borderlands. Gearbox is gonna knock that straight out of the fucking park. I just know it. What like Borderlands three? Yeah. This is uh, well. Well, yeah. this isn't the next gen version. It came out on past gen game consoles. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. But yeah, can't wait for that. Um. What about uh? You've been playing that uh. The Inquisition. The Dragon Inquisition. Age Inquisition. You know, Dragon Age is... I haven't played that much into it. I spent a lot of time on character creation. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I will spend, intricate. Wait, yeah. wait, when did Dragon Age become The Sims? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, there's so much. They have all these different races and classes and... They all have their own deal, and it's it's just it takes an hour just to play to get to the opening cutscene. It's, <laughs> it's the most important part of the game. Have you guys ever played a game where you create a character and then you like go through the first like fifteen minutes of the game, like you know what? No, his nose isn't right. Yep. Or like I should have picked yeah, this. That's game. how I was with Mass Effect. I made a black guy with a red beard. <laughs> that's, that's usually so what I make in videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. That every time. Yeah. Like, I made him as black as I could, and he has a red beard and a faux hawk, and I was like, yeah. yeah <laughs> and then you never see his face again. <laughs> and, then you get a, and you get a helmet ten minutes into yeah. the game. Yeah, pretty much. But it's it's a lot of fun. I gotta get some more time into it, because I've been working and training. So, once I get more time into it, I will definitely yeah, buddy. be with a review. But right now, if I had to give it anything as far as a rating... Um, I'd probably give it about an 18 out of 20. Nice. Yeah, I've heard good things about it, but, uh, the character creation can't, can't be, uh, can't well, be, well, uh, the character creation can be rated. You can I mean, I'm huge creation. on the character creation. <laughs> it's, it's a, it's like, a big, big portion of the game. But I mean, playing people, through, sure. you know, there is still, like, a lot of stuff to do. Like, right off the bat. Like, you get into the town after you go through all the nonsense, you know, you have a big boss fight before you even get to the title screen. You know? <laughs> it's just like, well, damn. Wait, what? <laughs> this is yeah. quickly. And so, um, the mechanics um, on it are really well. Um, I don't tend to use the freeze frame. Uh, Wait, will you say that sentence again for me? The freeze frame. No, before that. The mechanics are well. The mechanics are well. Leave me alone. <laughs> I am tired. I have just came here from training, so give me a break. I'm sorry. <laughs> English class is ruined. Continue. Matt <laughs> yeah, does that. But um, like the first thing they want you to do is build an army. Oh, well, you have to visit like seventy two so, different camps. So simple stuff. Yeah, <laughs> right off the bat. But it gets a little more difficult. The I don't like the freeze frame thing. Um, basically, before you go into battle, you can set up how you want your battle plan to be. Um, me, I just preset my characters <laughs> what the, I want them to do mm-hmm. when we get go into battle, it. and then just go for it. Yeah, that's a lot how it was in first Dragon Age, if yeah. I remember correctly. So the fr- I think the freeze frame thing is new because I don't remember that in the first Dragon Age. I don't know. I'm thinking about. <laughs> Anybody else still slipping in and out of diabetic comas from Thanksgiving? Yes. <laughs> I gave oh. Thanksgiving a 20 out of 20. Yes. Uh, mine was about, I would say it was about an 18. Mine was a 20 out of 20. That's a D12. Oh, shit. Mine was, <laughs> mine was a 30. I'm, I'm going to go with a 14 on mine. 
Uh, it, it was just awkward because, like, you know, I, you know, I moved to the. Nat's money. Finally! Yeah! <laughs> That's how my Thanksgiving went. Anyway, <laughs> proceed. But, you know, just moving to the East Coast, like, I'm away from family and friends, stuff like that. It's like, I, I, I went with my East Coast fam over over there, and, like, I ended up carving the turkey and you know, everything. It, but it just still felt, like, awkward. So. Everybody's yelling at the, each other. The, the first yeah, couple well, of Thanksgivings <laughs> away from home are always the weird ones. Yeah, and it's just like, uh, like back home, we used to fry turkeys. Over here, I'm stuck with this dry baked stuff. How oh. dare you? You fry turkey? <laughs> Have you never had fried turkey? Nope. I was a vegetarian. You lost your damn mind. <laughs> I'm sad I'm <laughs> now on. I really oh my want to try. This man knows things. <laughs> fried turkey is amazing. It is so it's juicy. So juicy. <laughs> oh my god. And you inject it with like little seasonings in it, like you just straight up drop a turkey in a and, and a vat. Yeah. In a vat fry. Make sure it's frozen. Do All right, for everybody at home, no. this is how you make, no. this is how you deep fry turkey. No. First, you bring it to a raging boil, <laughs> preferably a uh, what's the most flammable oil out there? Uh... <laughs> Motor oil? Motor oil. <laughs> Get motor oil, bring it to a boil, then make sure your turkey is completely frozen, and drop it from the top of your roof into oh <laughs> the boiling motor oil. Make sure nobody is standing at the bottom. <laughs> Unless you don't like Do it. not take our cooking tips for not fucking Martha Stewart living here. Yeah. Okay. This, is, this is Nerdcast, not Foodcast. Now you gotta meet, make sure that bitch is dry when you put it in. Super dry. <laughs> See, I, but that's the opposite of sex. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> don't don't spit on it before you put it in. <laughs> uh, you, you can you can spit on it. I just don't suggest it. <laughs> Bone dry, guys. Bone dry. Anyways, wow. <laughs> tell, tell that pot it's biting the pillow. <laughs> it's going. We're, we're glad you're back, Mike. <laughs> Glad to be back. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, East Coast is something else. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a great place. It's a great place, folks. I, I have nothing against the East Coast. In fact, I... I so when are you coming back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I finally get around to working on that law degree, I've been so busy the last few months just working on getting myself <laughs> situated out there. Like, uh-huh. it's... You know, job market is bad everywhere. So, like... Just goes out to like everybody that's listening to this podcast. If you're from you know California to Florida, no matter where you are, and you think things are bleak, it's just bad everywhere. Just hold tight, and you know things will get better. Remember, grass is always greener on the other side. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> so like I, I moved out there thinking like it was gonna be what? You know, like, <laughs> they were just like Jesse's being corny. Just, just keep sun, talking. Just sunshine and rainbows, but you know, like <laughs> it's it's the same as anything else. You just gotta work hard at it. So like, and that's what I've been doing out there, and. It, it almost really is like Fallout, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you can see the end coming. <laughs> every, time, every time I think about you, Mike, I'm just like, man, I wonder how Mike's in at Boston. I'm just like, man, Fallout 4 is going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, okay, so it's like I literally stepped out into like a whole new world and I'm having to learn like everything all over again. Yeah. I have to rub shoulders with the, the, the local, you know, groups that are out there and, you know, I'm literally completely alone. <laughs> it's not hard. For, it's not that easy when you first step out of the vault, man. <laughs> no, it's not. Wow. Like you may have like I'll one suck. friend that you know, like is like you know your your starting point, but like <laughs> 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 they're gonna die eventually. <laughs> eventually, you're gonna outgrow that, and you're gonna have to move on. So. Hey, hey, home is where the pet is. Yeah. <laughs> you can't roll. Pies are made. Can I take your stim packs? <laughs> you can't roll with the tunnel snakes forever. No, no. <laughs> so what's the nerd culture culture like out there? Oh god, is it strong? All right. So number one, it's like the, the thing I love the most about living on the Not east coast really. is this little, other little shop. Kind of like how there's uh, there's hot topics and Spencer's gifts like everywhere. There's a shop out there that's in every mall and like you know, major shopping center out there. It's called Newberry Comics. Mm-hmm. Right, unlike us out here, where we have to have you know go to like local comic book shops and like hope that they have like everything that we're looking for. This place has everything. We got to show you Muse. They have one of those too. They have a Muse comics up there. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> I, it, it, yeah. it, I think it's the same place, but Good. I've been there. I've been to I've been to the Muse here. Um, yeah, like they 
they have like literally everything. They have wall to wall like just any kind of nostalgic little toys, collectibles, uh, CDs, music, That's um, awesome. DVDs, video games, and my favorite thing, comic books. Yeah, they have the best little selection of comic books I have found so far, especially for my favorite comic book character, Judge Dredd, which I will be totally collecting like all those books and. Newberry Comics very shortly, so prepare yourself. I'm going in there. I'm buying out your entire stock. <laughs> He's going in. <laughs> I'm going in with fat pockets and coming out completely broke. That's how it goes. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time. But I mean, like, the, uh, as far as the other part of nerd culture out there, I, uh, uh, I work in Providence, uh, Rhode Island, which is a what? joke. Do you know Peter Griffin? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a joke. That's a joke. It, it you know things look great in in Rhode Island until you actually have to live there. But <laughs> I'm just gonna say there's a, there's like a night and day difference between uh, Rhode Island and Massachusetts, and like you know there's some nice parts of Rhode Island, but Providence is not one of them. <laughs> no. But uh, it is it is the main you know the ma- the main city in in Rhode Island and uh, there are some nice things about it. One of the nice things I noticed was you know the, the nerd culture because there was a uh, Comic Con there recently that you know I got to you know be in kind of in the middle of cause, because I work right next door to where it was being held at. So um, I got to see everybody dressed up in their costumes. You know I got a lot of you know a couple good pictures in. Um, cool. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to, you know, give a fair word of warning to anybody who ever goes to any convention ever, and that's this. Um, in the future, make sure that there, if there's a time for if you pre-order your, uh, your badges for the weekend, make sure to show up at that time, because what, the, what happened at this last Comic-Con is they sold too many of them, so they were actually turning people away at the door. Because they, they, the fire marshal said that it was unsafe for, you know, that many people to, to be there. They, they reached the yeah. cap. Too well, fast. and then another thing, though, too, is, like, people that had pre, pre-bought pre passes... Uh, people had pre-ordered. Yeah, were being turned away because they didn't have, like, special privilege to pick theirs up first and get in there first. You know, before they started letting just people off the street go in there. So it didn't matter if you pre-bought it. Mm-hmm. What? You know, so they have... turned you away after no, pre-buying so that's, that's not like a warning. That is, I guess, a warning to con-goers. But, I mean, that's more of a message to the people who did that con. That, like, well, yeah. That, that, and that's the thing, too. Is like, is like, if anybody listens to this that, you know, could at least talk to anybody that's potentially running a con, warn them about that beforehand. You know, mm-hmm. because you have to understand, like, you're, you're, whatever space you're using for your convention... There is a limit to it, and fire marshals don't joke around. No, no, they do not. Like we, I saw guys that were coming out of that convention that thought they were going to be okay just to go get lunch across the street. Came back, couldn't get back in. That's shitty. Yeah, that's super shitty. I'd cry. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like after so paying, like, so so you're like, like dressed up as a Pikachu. Well, and that's, and that's the thing. So like, you, had, you, had, you, had, you had the convention center next door, and then you had the mall where I work at, all right? And you had everything everything from the convention center that, like, they couldn't go there. They were pouring into the mall. Wow. <laughs> so you're just sending Shitty. all these people to the mall. Well, that's essentially what they were doing anyways. Like, they were going to, like, Newberry Comics and, and you know. <laughs> Plug away. <laughs> if you guys can get me a discount for all this advertising. <laughs> when we put it up online, I'll make sure to hashtag Newberry Comics. <laughs> Newberry Comics. The best Mike, thing ever on the East Coast. Micah approves. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Yeah, like, the, like these these people were just like spilling into those. So you had a l- bunch of cosplayers walking around like the general population. <laughs> I just imagine, which I don't recommend. <laughs> but oh god, it's so funny when it happens though. Like there's a lot of cool costumes. There's a lot of cool costumes. I give you that. But there's a lot of things that just make you look at people sideways, even if you are a con goer. Yeah. And now imagine that being in your, just in the general public. Oh, we've done it. Yeah. yeah. My absolute <laughs> my absolute favorite thing is walking like out of the elevator at the other hotels around the con hotel. Walking out of the elevator in like complete tactical gear. Everybody's just like What the <laughs> hell yeah, is a lot going of, on? There's a lot of that. 
<laughs> so I imagine this is like on a weekend too. So like a lot of like I don't know if it's every mall, but like all the malls that I've ever worked in or anything like that, like they have uh, the local police force like presence there kind uh -huh. of thing. So if they see people walking around in tactical gear, like their buttholes kind of clench a little bit and they yeah. get a little worried. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. That's why I started wearing my Kigurumi underneath. <laughs> Just tactical vest. Fox Kigurumi. <laughs> it is the fox hound. The fox hound. The, the first thing I imagined when he told me this story was just a teenage Deadpool, like... A teenager dressed as Deadpool on the side of the road with a sign that said, Not enough room in con. Mom's at work. Need a ride to Quahog. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was, okay, it was, it was pretty bad. Because, like, even getting to work that day was just terrible. I didn't even know, I didn't even know there was a convention going on down there. Like, I, Worst. Nerd. I know, I know, I know. I was looking for, I was, you know, I thought, you know, most of the conventions, like the big ones like that, would happen up in Boston, so I didn't even think Providence I could would see that. You know, be a it, blip on anybody's radar. Was it like, I don't know, was it was like a new thing, or was it like an annual yeah, thing, or they just like unprepared for it? Comic-Con goes to so many cities now. Yeah, like it, I don't I mean, know if it, I don't, I don't honestly know, like a lot of the people I was working with, though, didn't know what was going on, so I'm going to say that it wasn't an annual thing, I could be wrong, but. It could okay. just be a smaller event. Yeah. yeah. They were just first time. Just first like, time, first didn't know attempts. what they were doing, sold that's too many it, passes. That's yeah. what it kind of sounds like. Yeah. yeah. Good that's idea, how it bad. starts. Yeah. <laughs> Noobs. <laughs> but, like, I mean, you have, you have a lot of great conventions on the East Coast. Uh, one of the ones I always recommend going to is uh, Otakon. I actually went there quite oh, a few years ago. Gosh. Otakon! The Sorry. best anime convention I have ever been to, and here's why. It's not just because of, you know, the the, the, the sheer size or the fact that, you know, it takes place in, in the in, uh, Baltimore Convention Center, which is, like, the greatest place to have it set at, but you have every major player in the industry there, and you have a lot of pe a lot of them showing their new stuff. So, like, I got to see, back at the time, Ergo Proxy before everybody else did. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So I got, I got exposed to that, you had, you know... Big Funimation booths in the dealer's room. Like, mm -hmm. The dealer's room itself in, at Otakon is like three football fields big. Like, oh. uh, maybe I'm exaggerating, but I just remember it being freaking huge. Oh. Oh. So, where are we going next year, guys? <laughs> dude, <guess> Baltimore <laughs> dude, awesome. All right. Downtown Baltimore is sweet. Just don't go down any back alleys or, you know. Yes, yes. Baltimore's a scary Don't get lost but it's tonight a great as a like, little or girl. I still want to go to Los yeah. Angeles <laughs> Me too. I want to go to Salt Lake City Comic Con. That thing is huge. And I see yeah, that SLC Comic Con's huge. Oh my god. Yeah. SLC. I want to go to San Diego one. I want to go to E3. SDCC? <laughs> god, that's <laughs> elbows and assholes all day. It's true. But it's so dope. Yeah, I bet. I bet SDCC is going to be so cool. We just need to hurry up and become professional podcasters and just do nothing except for go to cons. <laughs> I would be so okay with it. Well, let's work, yeah, let's right work on that. Like I, I got the East Coast covered, guys. I got this. All it's, right. It's... If there's any sponsors out there, <laughs> Newberry Comics. Yeah. <laughs> we will spread the word. Go to Boston. Newberry. Ah! All right. Are you guys done with video game talk? Yeah. But I was really impressed. Like We've spent some time on the East Coast and like, I don't know, like, we worked with uh, these two really, like, brutal, hardcore dudes who were in, like, the hardcore metal scene. Their names were Buddha and Brax, and just, like, when I first met them, just like, oh my god, these guys are hardcore. And then you start talking to them, and it's just like, yeah, the Joker's my hero. <laughs> and just like, I don't know, just like, everybody out there is so nerdy, just like every single person I met, regardless of the fact oh, yeah, that I worked like, at the Renaissance Festival. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody's like, got, every everyone's got their own, like... Their passion out there, I would say. Yeah. Uh, my lab manager that I work for, uh, he's he's a big nerd. He watches Attack on Titan. <laughs> Good. Sweet. Yeah. I feel yeah. like everybody has their own thing, though. But I mean, there's, but I mean, like, there's, there's, but there's, you, you have the opposite end of the spectrum too, because like that's a lot of high fashion out there. So you have a lot of snobs. Like mm -hmm. that's, I had to point that out, but like, <laughs> oh they, yeah. They, they, th they kind of thumb their nose at, like, this nerd herd folks, you know, so... The nerd herd. There's a lot of scary government people out there, too. But anyways... <laughs> oh, Lord. Here we go. But yeah, also, on the East Coast, like, uh, if you're ever in Annapolis, I just assume the East Coast is all one, like, area, because pretty much the entire East Coast, in my mind, no, yeah. is the size of Colorado. <laughs> 
Which well, is kind of true if you consider it from, like, New York down to, like, Baltimore. Yeah. And, like, New Jersey, New England, like, that whole area isn't very big. But anyways, yeah. that's just the way I look at it. But anyways, in Annapolis, there's this place called Third Eye Comics. And Third Eye Comics, like, at their bumper stickers, have a t-shirt from there. Like, they have been nothing but the greatest people. It's just, like, this little tiny warehouse just full of comic books. And oh, figurines, man. and board games, and Dice. so much cool stuff. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of neat little things out there. And, like, especially where I'm living at in Rhode Island, like... There's not a lot of big industry out there. In fact, you live in Rhode Island. I'm on the border of Mar- Massachusetts. I thought you lived in Massachusetts. In New <laughs> I live on the border, of, like I, like I'm a stone's throw away from Attleboro, which is in Massachusetts, which I go for like all my shopping needs. But like it's it's just cheaper for me to live in Rhode Island because the rent's cheap. But like I, you just, live in Rhode Island. I love how you guys just noticed. He's yeah, he's been like saying it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I live in. He worked in Rhode Island and lived no, 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 in Boston. No, no, no. He's even when saying you live I in Rhode live Island. Providence. You just no, I don't live in Providence. I live technically in like. He doesn't even know where he lives. Cumberland. <laughs> I, well, okay, so. So you live in New England. Yeah, it, yeah. it's all New England. That's, yeah. like, that's all it is. Like, do you want to hear a shameful thing? I, I, for a, for a long, long time, I thought New England was a state. <laughs> I think you and like maybe between 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 Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island, like they they're all so close to each other that like literally you have people that you? commute and work and live there, like two yeah. different states. Yeah, they're uh, different states, but it's almost like they're not. Like nobody it, really cares. It, it's all New England. You have yeah. Quayhawk. <laughs> <laughs> no, the East Coast is really fun to spend a little bit of time in. <laughs> I just like the food. There's a lot of great food out on the East Coast. There's a lot of good, yeah. good seafood out there. Oh yeah. my god, Maryland crabs. I knew one talk about it. <laughs> I just miss the crabs so much. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the sushi. Mm. Oh my god, fresh sushi. Uh, so, yeah, I guess TV is a thing. We've we all watch TV. <laughs> what, what about the, uh, speaking of TV, what about the uh, new, uh, we were talking earlier about uh, trailers, what about the new Jurassic Park trailer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, freaking, what's his name? Uh, uh, fuck. Chris. Pratt. Pratt, thank you. Oh, yeah, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, Pratt the new, uh, the new uh, scientist That man's guy. a 20. <laughs> Sorry. If you could have seen the eye roll that she gave, that man's don't you do it. Twenty. Don't. Oh, Whoa. that's not even a twenty die. You're, You're really mad. good at that. You're really good at that. Not rolling a d twenty. Let me see. Shit. I get to roll the twenty, and that oh. is not a twenty. But anyways, I got really excited. About <laughs> He's not even trying to do it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Chris Pratt's home. But yeah, Chris, Chris Pratt... Shut up. Chris Pratt is uh, playing the new scientist guy. Dude, bro. Thing. I didn't Bummer. know what to think about it when it first came on. I really expected... I'm like, oh my gosh, Chris Pratt's in this movie? I really expected to like start doing the Jurassic Park theme song. Just like... How's it go? Like... And I was like, oh, Chris Pratt's in. I expected to start going... Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my god, Chris Pratt's in this movie. This is going to be fucking silly. Well, he was Star-Lord. Yeah. yeah. So you know he's a good actor. He's a good actor, but Guardians of the Galaxy was fucking silly. <laughs> but so good. But so, so good. I okay, agree. hold on. Are you saying that Jurassic Park movies aren't silly? Those yeah. Those are some of the funniest are movies I've seen. I don't know. Serious? They're serious Nuh-uh-uh. movies. Uh-uh. Didn't say the magic word. Please! <laughs> no, but they're supposed to be taken seriously. Just because we think they're funny because we know what old Well, when I was little, like. I was terrified of them. I was scared of the dinosaurs as a kid. What? You guys I just, weren't scared? Is that yeah. why you me? Am I, the one that, <laughs> <laughs> am I the only one that's kind of worried, though, that Jeff Goldblum is going to make an appearance in it? I'm not. <laughs> 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 not well, one well, little you, bit. Uh, no, no not see, one uh, little bit. That thing is, uh, not one little bit. You, I love Jeff Goldblum. You scientists. You didn't, More of him in every movie. You were too busy. What every if you, uh, yeah, movie. Could, you just wouldn't think about it if you think, <laughs> you should. <laughs> so what's the premise of the new movie? Uh, uh, super Dinosaur. 
So it looks like, they, okay, they, they set up this, it's an actual running park. They have tourists going there all the time. It looks like, you know, the, the dream They has... got the safety protocols measured Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> sort of. Sort of. Yeah. Until they started playing God, yeah. apparently, and made a super dinosaur. They made a super dinosaur out of a fucking raptor. Like, and that's the only tra- thing. Like, is like, raptor and tra- why didn't you use a brontosaurus or something? Right? Like, start, start <laughs> small, people. I can tell you exactly what, what the premise of this movie is going to be. Scientists are working on a new super dinosaur to bring to the park because the, the attendance at the park has been dipping. So they want to bring in a new, uh, a new dinosaur with... A bunch of different dinosaur genes and stuff like that to and make it's all something the best, super crazy. Most deadly parts of every that way, dinosaur. And that way, when they unleash the new uh, dinosaur, it'll be like the biggest thing in the world, and people will start showing up to see be, the new dinosaur. How could there ever be a dip in seeing dinosaurs? The future well, kids. They're I even mean, brattier than today's kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even care. Crazy dinosaur graphics, guys. Like, you can only go to SeaWorld cool. so many times to see Shamu. You want to see other shit? I don't even care. I'm not. Dude. My kids, right. my Apparently future we saw kids. A great white are shark though being amazing. fed to like the giant whatever. Yeah, to the big fish. Yeah. or I don't know. Whatever. No, I actually, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Wolf Boy <laughs> today talked to me about uh, the premise of the movie. Dude, apparently he's starting to be a paleontologist. I didn't know that about Wolf Boy. Get uh, to it. Just because he wants to chase that, bones. Though. Yeah, I kind of figured that Wolf Boy was probably going to be a paleontologist. That was my first guess. But anyways, he told me the premise of this movie is that it's completely separate from the other Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 2, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic Park, Dildos, Jurassic Park, A Whole New Park, Jurassic Park, Park Unleashed, all those movies. It's an alternate timeline where nothing bad happened in the park. Like, everything uh, in the park they were trying to do was actually successful. So oh, this is an alternate timeline. I like see what you're saying. A completely different story where okay. they opened the park and nothing went wrong. And then, of course, I, something goes wrong. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. It's dinosaurs. I also heard that they, when they genetically engineered this new dinosaur, that they gave it, like, a brain, like, where it could think and learn for itself. Well, well yeah. Why are scientists so awful? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> It, it, I mean, did anybody not see Deep Blue? Deep or, Blue Sea? Yeah. Oh my I love that movie. Is that the sharks? The yeah. Sharks movie where they're underwater? Yeah. Yes. That movie is so good. <laughs> where the only guy that survives is the black chef. What? Yeah, exactly. yeah. Moving up in the world. Fuck you, Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Those sharks are obviously out of their time. Apparently, wow, so that was apparently so was, I heard this dinosaur is supposed to be the same way. He, but then again, the first guy to die in the movie was also a black guy. <laughs> we're, we're, moving up, we're moving up, okay? We got black stormtroopers, bro. <laughs> and all right, so back to Wolf Boy. His theory is that he's like, I'm gonna say it like this: if my theory is that they have been splicing dinosaurs with human DNA. And there's going to be, like, some sort of crazy human-dinosaur hybrid. And if that happens, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to walk out of the theater. <laughs> <laughs> what a human-hybrid dinosaur. Yeah. Did we he say this or did you say he this? He said this. That's why I heard, though. You think that a furry would be yeah, for he's that. he's not the first person I've heard say that. Yeah. Huh. You'd think a furry would be for that. He's a paleontologist. He was pretty much like, he was telling me how mad he was about the other dress parts. He's just like, they're so unscientific about it. And he just like went on around how like the Tyrannosaurus jaw compared to how much muscle it is could like break a minivan in half. Anyways. (laughs) (laughs) I don't like to talk about my math. Superhead. (laughs) That's all I can think of. What? (laughs) With muscles in the jaw like that. Oh, Superhead. <laughs> Superhead and Wolf Boy in the same well, again. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, Tyrannosaurus Rex does not have lips. It's all teeth, bro. All teeth. It's all good. Sometimes you need that nibble. You mean just born like this? It's gonna be more than a nibble. It's gonna be a couple inches off. There's just no. There's no lips at all. Like, to keep everything in. No, of course not. They it, they they go down. 
Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> They're dumb animals, Stephanie. <laughs> I just feel like there should be lips. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> we'll never know. Anyways. <laughs> Deep fried dinosaur lips. Anyways, uh, so how do you feel about the new Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. spinoff that's starting tonight? Agent, uh... Agent Carter? Yeah. Well, they've been hitting at her a lot in the new Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episodes. Yeah. Um, because Red Skull's right-hand man is one of the main villains in Marvel Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Whitehall. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> so... What? God. <laughs> Breaking stuff? Sorry. Doing things. Go on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> breaking shit. Stephanie? Yo, GF... <laughs> Go on. Oh, um, yeah. I forgot. Whitehall. I lost my train of thought. Whitehall. Whitehall. So, they show him back, you know, in the early 60s, mm-hmm. you know, and how he came to stay young throughout, you know, throughout the 70s years. He's one years. messed up motherfucker. He is, but he's all about that science. Yeah, that's true. So, and then, I mean... So we find out, you know, in the new... Um, our, I, when I get home, I'm going to watch the Agent Carter episode. Um, yeah. But we find out in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that the alien that they see in the container is a Kree alien. Yeah, it is Kree. And the city, they're looking for a city after they find out all the little scribing that they've been scratching into the walls and all that nonsense is a basically a layout to a city. Yeah, And now different. they're trying to find it. Yeah. I'm super excited. Dude, it's getting so much better. It's so good. Which means well, there could be gonna, a Kree and Scroll battle for Earth. So I'm just uh, yeah. Anytime, anytime <laughs> the Kree get Kree involved, alien? yeah, Kree is the blue alien people, which are the enemies to the Scrolls, who are the sh- shapeshifters of the okay. universe. And the Kree are like this highly intelligent, scientific, war-driven culture, and basically Earth. If you've seen um, any of the uh, new Avenger cartoons, Earth basically is going to become the new gateway for them to teleport uh, goods and munitions and things like that. It's like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Just like, your planet just so happens to be where we need to put our... Exactly. (laughs) Basically. And as soon as they open that portal, it's going to blow up the planet. Okay. So, um, yeah. I'm excited. It's getting better with every episode, so can't wait to see this new episode. It sounds really yeah. neat. Like as much as they're starting to bring it back to more of the Marvely stuff that you guys all know about, just like the more you guys talk about like the stuff on TV is when you guys get really excited. Like the Flash and Agents of Shield. Because it comes out every week. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. just like, come on. <laughs> but it sounds like that's like the majority of where they're bringing everything back to what. Well, okay. You exce- what Not- you guys expect out of Marvel? Not not ex- not not extremely. I mean, it keeps us going for sure, <coughs> yeah. um, and it brings a lot of like the side stuff in, like that they're not necessarily going to make yeah. movies for. So but there's, I mean, the way they're going. All of this is going to tie in to the movies that are coming out. Yeah, if they continue and, on and this path, that's one thing that they've been showing a lot in like the the newer movies and stuff like that is. You know, everything that's happening in the TV show and stuff like that kind of shows up a little mm-hmm. bit in the movies. And same thing with the movies to the TV shows, definitely with that. But it's just, everything ties in together in a certain way where it's just like, oh, I watched a TV show and I just went to go see the movie. Everything makes sense together. Exactly. And that's just awesome. I'm really glad that they figured out how to do yeah. all that and schedule it all out properly and stuff like that. Because... It doesn't work that way a lot of the time in the real world. And I mean, in the Flash, don't even get me started on that. Like, right now, Flash <laughs> is number one on my list of shows. Still need to start that. Just probably, I, I don't know. I want to start watching it just so I can like talk about it with you because it sounds like, like it's really good. It is. It's amazing. Like, the one thing the Flash has done that the other shows have not done is showing humans with powers. Okay. Everybody else, like Marvel, yeah, you had the Thor episode where they had, you know, the staff and everything. Yep. Um, Gotham, you don't really see any of that in it. Um, but Flash came out and it was like, bam, Flash is created, metahumans are everywhere. 
every episode they're trying to stop a new metahuman. Yep. Well, that's that's appears. one of the things with Agents of Shield that I liked so much was the fact that Shield had a whole list of people that were gifted individuals, mm-hmm. and uh, they would keep an eye on them. And stuff like that. That's what S.H.I.E.L.D.'s whole operative was. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, here's this guy that nobody ever heard about. Here's this guy nobody ever heard about. And it was just like, ah, crazy. Yeah. Loved it. I'm so excited. (sighs) You know, and and the fact that they're starting to hint that, you know, Sky's dad is uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Told you. (laughs) (laughs) You know, they're starting to hint at that. Called it. Three you know. podcasts ago. <laughs> fucking called it. You know, Those which, listening, go back in time now and check Damn this. right. You go back and you listen to that podcast. I called that shit. Sorry, go ahead. So if, if it does play out like... So, watching the episodes, Sky, her mom is part Cree. Yep. She has Cree blood in her. So when they took that, that formula, she wasn't affected by it. Yeah. At all. Because her mom is Cree. You're speaking completely different language to these people. Yeah, yeah, you're looking me in the eye. I'm just like I'm looking just, past you, just like you just nice gotta. Star Wars you, do, you just gotta watch it. It's it's, it's getting really better. Good. I just it's keep really getting good. confused because you're talking about the Cree people, and it's just like you know, Cree is a a term for different Native American tribes, right? Yes, they refer to themselves as Cree. Is that like a a parallel right there? I don't it know. Could be. Just I mean, out. everything is is. Based off of something. Inspired yeah. by something. Yeah. yeah. But the Kree are actually a completely separate alien race from exactly. a different part of the universe. Okay. All right. Like, the way... That's the one thing I love about the Marvel Universe. In one way or another, they touch on each other in some way. Yeah. Like the <laughs> Nice. Like, the Kree show up in X-Men. The Kree show up in... in uh, Captain America. Captain America. All of them. Yep. So, I mean, the the opportunities are endless on what they're going to do with this. Radical. So, I am just... Uh, yeah, way to go, Marvel. I know. Uh, I, need, I just need to catch up with you guys. Keep it up, Marvel. I just, well, I just can't wait for winter break when I can actually like do something except for homework and cry. <laughs> I, I wait for two weeks so that way I can watch two hours worth. That's, yeah. good, that's a good thing. Like, yeah, like we've been caught up on what's our what our shows right now. Sorted Online, Sailor Moon, Once Upon a Time, and Legend of Korra. And it's just like, yeah, let's watch our shows. Sailor and then Moon once we're all so caught up, it's good. just like, what, the new well, what are we doing? Yes. Oh my god, <laughs> my roommate would it. fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> She's got like the biggest lady boner for Sailor oh, Moon. Oh, right dude, now. lady boner. Every time she. Oh my god. Every, like every time she cries for every, Endymion, I'm just at, like. <laughs> at the end of every episode, I hear her screaming. She's like, "Why is it over?" <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, this is the probably... reason he gets. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. The reason he gets so pissed <laughs> off is because it's only like it used to be like every two weeks you get an episode. Now it's like every three weeks. Yeah. What? It's retarded. He, no, it used right. to be every other week. All right, I'd, I'd be pissed He's about that. Every two weeks. That's right now, two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> right, now, right, right now, I'm watching my Sons of Anarchy. That's the final season. So. Well, I'm watching Walking Sons Dead, but I have to be quiet about that. I'm going to be quiet about that. I'm not going to ruin anything. But I'm like, you know, I've got 11 episodes on my, because uh, I, I, I was one of those, you know, Tools that bought it on Amazon Prime. For Thirty-five dollars, well spent. Thank you <laughs> for a season pass. So, like, as the episodes come out, I get to I get to watch them in my own. I like way. how Jesus that was top gear. So I'm just like I'm like getting my Mine, fix. <laughs> Mine records on my DVR every season. Yeah, that's that's Shut up. She spoke. <laughs> you you, 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 you are on the podcast. Yeah. Oh, you spend. That's you, not the first time. How, yeah. how much extra do you spend on DVR every month, though? I don't spend anything. Like... Damn. Fame. I'm just saying, though. Ooh. Bri- Bri- Bryson, Bryson Fios is going to charge me an arm and a leg to have not only just the cable channels but also the DVR. So, I made the smarter choice and went for the, just the 35 for the uh, mm. the Prime account. Hey, hey! If you ever want to go ahead and get cable or satellite. You have DirecTV over there, right? Somewhere, probably. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. If you have DirecTV, let me, or if you want to get DirecTV, let me know so I can uh, go ahead and get some money from you. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. I thought you it's were promote, free. It's promote a friend program. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> DirecTV is the devil. I worked for them for a long time. Well, I learned about it. 
I live, I live in, in... Speaking in, of lady boners... You know, close, it's a close, it, it, I live in, like, this, like, little unit, it's, like, a, it's an overgrown house, it's, like, three levels, and, like, each level is, like, their own apartment comp, uh, their own apartment. Mm -hmm. It's the box that you live in that keeps moving from seat to seat, isn't it? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but they're, like, so, and so, like, every building there is, like, it's in so close, close proximity with each other, like, there's no satellite dishes out there. Like it's, uh, everybody uses cable. Like it's either Cox or Cox. <laughs> Cox or Time Warner. Warner? No, not Time Warner. Uh, oh, Comcast. Com Comcast still rears its ugly head in Massachusetts. So, and uh, wow, I have I have the biggest hatred for Comcast. Uh, Comcast you is the you and the rest of Comcast customers. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so this to be reminds me of story. And Verizon isn't much better, but they they try. To at least care. <laughs> at least they try to care. <laughs> <laughs> I have a really. <laughs> you got a problem oh, with your. Really? <laughs> For those who tell me again, <laughs> can't see us. They're showing their nipples right now. <laughs> Every single person. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> that's really. South Park reference. South Park's been really good lately. Yeah, it has. Yes, it has. With that and... Oculus episode? Yeah. <laughs> I like the cock magic episode. Yeah. That was really good. <laughs> I was dying. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's rooster God. illegal cock fighting, except for instead of them fighting, they play Magic the Gathering. Uh -huh. It's so funny. What? It's so good. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. Okay, you guys are jumping around. Hold on. I've got a story about cocks and about <laughs> lady boners. Oh, Let me do my two stories real quick. All right, all right. I helped my sister move out to San Diego God, like four years ago. Story about later boners and your sister. This is not starting good. <laughs> no, this one's about cocks. This one's about, this one's about cocks and my sister. Oh. That's even worse. <laughs> we, I helped her move oh, out God. to San Diego, and uh, we were just like, Marvel. what the hell do you do in San Diego? So we went to this Easter parade, because it was Easter... Day, weekend, whatever. Anyways, the whole <laughs> the whole uh, parade was sponsored by Cox Cable Company. Mm. So me and my sister were drunk. We're just like, yeah, Cox! <laughs> like, every five minutes, just like, drinking our secret <laughs> beers. <laughs> Cox, yeah! <laughs> I'm going to have to do that, actually. I'm really glad you halted the podcast for that story. The second story is about Lady Boners. <laughs> okay. And this goes back to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Okay. So, uh, they're, they have really crazy guns, right? Mm -hmm. One of the ones we got is was called the Ice Scream, because one of the things they added in the game was ice elemental damage. Good. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's called the Ice, something like Ice Scream, and it's like a, a minigun. And so it warms up, and you shoot it, and as soon as it gets, like, its maximum potential of, like, Just firing, fire rate, it'll play the same music that a ice, ice cream truck would play. <laughs> yes! But it's so good. You're just listening to it, it's like, that's kind of neat. But we, I did this thing where I turned into, like, gun zerker mode, and so it's just firing, 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 firing. And so it got stuck on that song. So, like, the entire level until we found the next level oh, was just man. stuck on ice cream music. We're just like, I can't keep playing this. Like, we gotta go. We gotta awful. stop playing. It was like it was the so same bad. chime for like an hour. And we're just like, why is it still on? <laughs> it was awful. And the reason it relates to Lady Boners is because there's a shotgun in that game that just yells like a pikey. Like, you say, yes. like, I'm a fucking gun! <laughs> of course, it's bleeped out, so it makes it even better. Yeah. <laughs> it's if just like, oh my god, you blew his head off, that gives me such a fucking lady boner! <laughs> like, it's just you, little things like that. If you put it like away, that. it's like, oh, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of like the gun in Borderlands 2 that the guy was, like, trying to get rid of. And said, don't pick up the gun, it's the worst gun on the sad. planet. Because it's No, because it's not because it's sad, it's just like, it goes... <laughs> yeah. I love that gun that game so is much. so funny. I feel like there was another one that spoke, though. Maybe oh, not. there are so many guns that speak in that game, I love I it. I remember. Borderlands is so much fun. Yeah. Hilarious. Anyways, the last 15 minutes have been nothing but... Jewish. Anybody, uh... Brave the real world on Black Friday? No, I stayed at home. Lucky. I didn't even. I didn't even have to work that day. That's the real surprising Lucky. part. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I stayed at home. I played some GTA. Lucky. I felt pretty good about myself. Dude, oh. I massaged people. I delivered pizzas. And it was. <laughs> I. It was insane. 
I had a half day at work, <laughs> and then I went to the Air Force game, which was dope. Yeah. And they finally won. Every game I've gone to this year, they always lose. Well, and Big. The, but here, here's, the, here's the thing, though. I hate to you know go off into the actual real-world news kind of thing, but they actually said that uh, Black Friday sales have actually dipped this year. Mm-hmm. Like, like, what, it's like 11% oh, or something America. like that? America. Well, and I think this is exactly the reason why. It's because like, too many people like us, it's like, it's like, okay, your deals are nice and everything like that, but I'm not tempted to go out and go kill myself to they go get them. Hell no. They they they're not that, that nice. good. Yeah, A 20% that nice. discount on The something? only thing that I kind of like that I probably would have, you know, gone out for if it wasn't such, such a hot item was mm-hmm. the uh, PS4 bundle with GTA 3 for three ninety nine. Yeah. Yep. But I knew that was going to go quick, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to, you know... It's like, like, I'm not going to stand yeah, in line for yeah, 20 hours for yeah. this thing. And then just be disappointed that they only have, like, five of them. Mm-hmm. Like, no. Like, there was one deal I was just like, oh, man, this smart TV, yeah. 1080p, 120 hertz, yeah. freaking 620 bucks? Yeah. That's a fucking deal. So I was like, I'm going to see, I'm going to call up and see how many they're going to have. Oh, we have two of them. <laughs> like, yeah, no, two? fuck you. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So I was just like, yeah, no, no I'm not even going to worry about it, yeah. but I did have to work that day. I mean, there was a lot and of I, video games that were on sale. Yeah, I mean, but they yeah. dipped them down but, to $35. Like, let's, let's, let's face it, though. You guys don't have, like, Black Friday sales at the AutoZone, or the... Yeah, well... Not AutoZone, not <laughs> no AutoZone. way. Don't kill me, Look don't kill me. Look at the disrespect that is going on in this room right now. Come on, Mike, get in the zone. No! <laughs> I will kill both of you assholes. And yes, I say, we, for I the first the year in boys, four right? years, <laughs> the first year in four years that we've worked there, the first time they said, yeah, sure, we're going to do a Black Friday deal. You sons of bitches. <laughs> so you, there, you literally had people like showing up there and stuff? Or? Oh, dude, we got our asses kicked. But see, his store is next to the Chapel Hills Mall. Oh, okay. Yeah, my store is in between a Best Buy and a Chapel Hills Mall. Uh, I see what they did there. Yeah. My store is in the hood. <laughs> yeah, down where I nope, live. Nobody where it's nobody always lives. Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and not just because I work there. Which store do you work at? more in Nevada. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there was a man passed out in the freaking homeless thing over there with his ass showing. Like, <laughs> I have pictures. <laughs> I, have a pic- I have a picture like that. Yeah, but that guy I was like, I think my car broke down up there. Some, some Actually, you should live really close yeah. to that one. Yeah, I hate, I hate it over there. Yeah, the first week I was there, I found a spoon in the people needle. listening to the podcast yeah. would just be uh, like. My car. She my, took a picture of a Worst story about that, that car. <laughs> my, my car broke down. It was like three o'clock in the morning. Like I was. It was back when I was like sixteen years old. On I was coming. I was coming from, No, well, pretty close. Yeah. Did Nevada. you break down in the First Amendment parking lot? No, I broke down. And, and, like, and I pushed. At 16? I, I, push, <laughs> I pushed. I had to push my car. Now. I had to push my car off of Fillmore into onto a uh, Stone Street into the parking lot of the. Uh, I pushed it into the parking lot of the, the Taco Bell there. Oh. The, but, oh. like, as soon as I pushed it in there, they closed, they shut off the lights. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Bad movie experience happening in three, this, two. This is how I die. One. This is the end of my life. <laughs> For those of you who are listening right. and not watching, I would like pull to the knife on the phone. <laughs> fully Cooley. Yes, Fully Cooley. You guys Foodie finally freaking watched it. Foodie. I finally joined Goody. the club of watching Foodie Goody. Goody. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good segue, because everybody was talking over each other, and that's pretty much that entire anime is. Continue. Goody. Yeah, pretty Goody. Cool. Goody. Makes Goody. sense. Shut up. Foodie Goody! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, I... Okay, like you said, I love the music, and I love the artwork. I was... All over that. Love the characters, but what the fuck happened? (laughs) Like, what the fuck? Was that whole show about penises? Was just boners coming out of people's heads? I honestly think you're taking too much out of the show. (laughs) No, I'm not. Because usually... I think it's about growing up. Okay, yes. I finally get that point. 
with boners. <coughs> and I think you're you're almost right about the boners part because you know, especially when young men grow up, they have those awkward moments where they have they the go most through awkward changes. Boners. Yeah. <laughs> I do get that finally, but I change, think as a woman, change, I don't entirely change, understand. Change, change I just have to say that. I think as a woman, I'm like, what the fuck? You were only 13 and you had a boner? That's and intense. I was, and I was just and sitting there. I, like, I looked over so, and I was just like, yeah. Saw, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe at like 10. And I'm like, what? I was still playing with dolls. Like, why were you getting boners? And I was playing with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> and they say girls mature faster than guys. Mentally. Not physically. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I really did enjoy it. I just... I, maybe Jesse's right. I wanted to... Un- I just was annoyed that I didn't understand. Like, I got to a point where I was just... Everybody was talking over each other, and it's just like, blah, 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 blah and now something's growing out of his head. And I'm just like, okay. It's, it's very... That's the thing, though. It's, it's, it's a simple pleasure. It's not, like, something you have to really pay attention to most of the time, you know? Like I get that And now. yet, it's different every time you watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I get that now. So, I am a fan. You can look at it, like, at, uh, on, on any different level and pull something out of it, but... Like I was, I was kind of uh, in a dark place the first time I watched it. And yeah. I, I, I got a completely different vibe out of the show yeah. than a lot of my friends did. Yeah, like I was going through high school, I was like, you know, confused as shit as like as far as like which culture group I actually belonged into. All right. So I was like in my own like little world and watching that show and like the music is what really connected with me. It's like mm-hmm. I uh, ended up when I was very young found a uh, website called therightstuff.com. dot com. Another plug. <laughs> they sell heroin, heroin, and nothing but heroin. <laughs> In anime form, <laughs> but <laughs> but I ended up you know ordering the uh, the soundtrack off of that, and like that that soundtrack got I think got me through my uh, my That's sophomore great year of high school. Yeah, it got yeah. me through my sophomore year of high school. So it was just uh, like... that closing theme. Yeah, it's really good. No, I I guess you're right. Maybe I'm just trying to understand more than I need. You're putting to. more thought into it than really and needs really, to. And really, it was. Just... If anything makes sense of you, then you watched it well enough. Like, you, you pulled <laughs> what you needed to. Yep. On the base level, it's okay. There was an alien, and he she's going for the power of the space. King, or the, the pirate king. The pirate king, yeah. Yeah, but she then, was, I don't know, just like, other. everybody has all these things, just like, it was so deep, you gotta look, look at it like this, and other people Maybe just like, that's why. It's I so think good, it's you need to look at it like this. It's just I think like, it's because while I was in Japan, like, I had heard it's very deep. Like, it may look like, oh, it's very phallic, but yeah. it's very deep. And so when I watched it, I'm just like, what is it? What is it? Is I don't understand. You're, ex- you're expecting so every time, more. Yeah, so I was expecting like, that's more. The thing, like, that's the thing. Like that's what I told you. It's about boners. It's about different kinds of boners. It's about different <laughs> girls vying for your attention and the different kind of boners you get. <laughs> so it's deep in that way. You've got that. You've got all right. That so boner goes deep. Think about it. Like you've got that. This is my first boner when you first get hit in the head of the guitar, and then you get that confidence boner when you're overconfident, and then it just grows too big and it goes wild. And anyways, and blasts to space. Got it. Yeah. Um, you actually never said that till now, but yeah, I told you it was all different boners coming out of his head. I want one of those scooters so bad. What, like, like a Vespa? Vespas? Yeah, I want a Vespa so bad. But one like hers. But the yellow with the exclamation mark on the front. I have to have it. <laughs> they had one up at Comic Con. Did you see it? I saw the one at uh, the. There was one here at um, DCC. Yeah, there was one at Denver Comic Con, and there was one at uh, the was... anime convention we went to. I want to say it still has that DK. Yeah, NDK. <laughs> It was cool. It must have been the same one, I'm not sure. I'm sure it was the same guy. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well in the end, it was awesome. I just, I put too much deeper thought into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's because you got too much, too many points of view before you watched this is, it. This, and Maybe this that is, is it. This might be an ending, um, an ending statement too. It's like, when you're a fan of something, try not to put too much thought into some things, you know? <laughs> If you like, you might you like go crazy. I'm <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> trying to figure out, like, I like. There's Pride the meaning of life in FLC. I know it. <laughs> Put as much thought into something as you think it deserves. Yeah. Well, I will say though, 
I think next time I will watch it in Japanese so that I can read the subtitles. Oh, you watched it in English? Yes. Dude, I watched the it English, English. voice acting in it is really good. It's no, don't get me wrong, it's really good. <laughs> it's but good. It's but, a lot um, harder to watch. It's a lot in harder Japanese. to watch. It's so good. You mean in, in English? No, in Japanese. There's freaking everywhere. <laughs> Words no, everywhere I'm saying, on the screen. I'm, I'm saying I watched it in English. Mm-hmm. I'm saying next time I would like to watch it in Japanese. So that, for myself, I can see what the hell they're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you just push pause and just be like, oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, well, now I've seen it in English, I've seen the action, and I can read and watch it, so that's all. Yeah, that was pretty terrible. That was bad. You missed, you missed I, real bad. I missed real bad. Epic fan. I'm sorry. Uh, so... A buck twenty-five. Uh, I guess we'll end it up. I guess we'll talk about damn near everything. Uh, what's this riff tracks that's on the board here? Oh, yeah, another plug. This guy. <laughs> Oh. Do, you re- do you remember Mystery Science Theater? Of course you do. Yeah, Everybody here in this room remembers <laughs> Mystery Science Theater 3000, Mike Nelson, <laughs> Pro T Robot, and Servo. Damn right. <laughs> well, unfor- the, uh, the same people that did Mystery Science Theater went on to do uh, their own project called, they call Rift Tracks. Yep. Um, Super good. Yeah. So you know exactly what I'm ready to talk about. Like it, it, a lot of it is like a, is audio files that you would play over the movie. The movie itself. So yeah. you would have like the same jokes being played while you're watching the movie. Star Wars riff tracks are hilarious. They're great. Um, <laughs> if you want just like an idea, just Google riff tracks. You know whatever on YouTube, and you'll get like little like plugs in there. Like little five minute things. Yeah. Or yeah, something. yeah. Okay. But they also have full length movies on there. Like one of the ones I downloaded. Recently was the uh, the old Mario Brothers the live action <laughs> yes. movie. They I they did a complete awesome love <laughs> that movie. They did a complete riff riff of that and they uploaded on their website the, the full streaming video of it. So you don't even have to have the extra video on hand. You just download. Oh, they just it. let them use the movie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they bought the rights to use it. For I their, bet it didn't cost much. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're They're, looking to buy the rights to this movie. Just like, what do you want? You got like a uh, pizza? <laughs> <laughs> there's a got lot like of there's, ten bucks. Yeah, there's there's a lot of other little ones on there too. Like there's this uh, one called Rotor. Like, like there's uh, they did they redid uh, Hands of Manos. Oh wow! Yeah, but with Mike Nelson this time instead of Joel. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and like they do they do live shows too. So like if you ever uh if you look at their website and you know keep in keep in track with them, they'll do live shows and they'll air them at like all the movie theaters across the country. Like mm-hmm. you know how movies yeah. will have like uh operas or whatever airing. Justin they'll, Bieber. They'll do <laughs> <laughs> they'll do something great this time and do like riff tracks live. Like the last one I went to go see was uh uh the live riff tracks of Starship Troopers. Yes. Awesome. So good. I've been waiting for them to actually post that up, well, post that up, so I can buy that because like oh it was the God. most hilarious thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so go online, go check out Rift Tracks. Um, check you, out what is Rift? Is it R I F F T R A X A C K S? That's uh, that's how I guessed how it's spelled. How is it actually spelled? Oh no, it's T R A X. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm sure if you type it into Google, it'll take you. It'll be like. <laughs> Yeah. It'll do a Google always doesn't just say, no, no, you're dumb, that's not how that's spelled. I'll bring you to the right place. <laughs> oh yeah, Before I guess before we close out, um, I do have one thing to say. I played the Civilization board game this past weekend, oh, and yeah. it's dildos. I fucking hate that board game. <laughs> it was your first time playing. I know it was my first time <laughs> playing, but everybody didn't have to pick on High me. High five. No, we did. We had to show you how hard it is to be a world leader. No, I played, <laughs> I played that game once with them, and they're just like, oh, you don't know what you're doing? Well, we'll just do this and take everything from you. And like, I'm like, thanks, teachers. Like, no, no, here's here's the thing. Like, It's playing with Chuck and Sarah and Aaron. They're I, assholes. No, I decided. I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to lose right off the bat. I'm just going to go ahead and screw everything up on the map. I'm going to lose. I know I'm going to lose, so why why even fight it? And so, finally, I was just like, okay, so I'm to the point where it's really, really bad for me. 
I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sacrifice all of the things that I have. So I just, like, show up in the middle of the map, just like, go ahead, have at it. And they're just like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. You can come back from this. And I was like, I have nothing. And they're like, you can come back from this. Okay, sure. So I, I, I give it a real try. Three turns later, they just destroy my whole entire city. I'm just no, like, they're just like, come on, you don't want to give up that easily. And, like, the entire time we're sidebarring, just like, that was really dumb. Like, how many turns until we kill him? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, wow. So, they they just you, wanted to have the chance to actually kill me themselves. What you did was really good, though. You, all right, so... Uh, have you guys ever played Civilization? Yeah. The, okay. the PC game? It is. I didn't really like it. <coughs> you didn't like Civilization, <coughs> any of them, at all? I thought they were It's fun. not for you everybody. You keep your mouth shut in this conversation. I'm keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm back here in the corner. <laughs> but no, it's very much like the game, except for you're playing, you know, with your friends, and it's just like you have your own map, and it's your own world, and there's different ways to win, mm -hmm. and it's really fun. But uh, what Jesse did was this. Like, uh, they have the expansion where there's different, like, natural world wonders. Where there's, like, the city of gold. If you land on there, you get extra gold. There's the, uh... uh city of Atlantis. The city of Atlantis. What's the third one, though? I can't remember it. But anyways, there was the city of Atlantis. The temple. The temple that gave you the good... The, the, the great people. Great people, yeah. Yeah. But what Jesse did was this. He's just like, I'm new to this game. I'm gonna fuck with them. Like, haha, I'm the best. And so, like, there's uh, two veterans. There's, uh, was it Aaron and Chuck? Mm -hmm. They're, like, in between. They're just, like, racing to get towards Atlantis. And what Jesse does is he has the right cards at the right time to play his resource to get him to teleport to the city of Atlantis to get that free technology. And he's just like, ha, I'm fucking with you guys. It's like, I got this, and now it's mine. And they just both just, like, looked at each other and just like, yeah, we gotta kill Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I got I got steam powered in like I want to say six turns, and that allows you to, that allows you to uh, show up in any body of yeah, water. Dude, you learned steam power <laughs> right after I learned how to travel on water. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I had like a speed I, of plus five. It was great. I don't know. I wouldn't say give up on it yet because the first time I played, I got really discouraged because they romped my ass. But the more times you play, the more fun it gets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. That's board games, though. Yeah, exactly. I'll give it a couple more tries, but it really did kind of piss me off a lot. And playing with those assholes is really hard because they're <laughs> assholes. Uh, we should get magic going again. Yeah. That and the uh, Roll to Pose D&D. Uh, &D. I want to play magic. Magic cockfighting. I have so much magic cards. <laughs> Not nearly <laughs> as many as we do. So I don't much, spend that kind of money. So much on. magic cards. So much magic cards. <laughs> So many much. But anyways, uh, it's well over an hour and a half, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's been three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half minutes, but still over our mark. Okay. So we are ready to go ahead and call it. So thank you very much for listening to the World Suppose podcast. Of course, uh, check us out on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash roll the number two pose. Um, and then, of course, uh, YouTube channel, if, you know, YouTube slash roll two pose. And all of them good stuffs. So, thanks again for listening. And uh, Final comments, anybody? Anybody have final comments that needs to be said before we call it? Like Thank you for having me here. Oh, yeah, of course, Mike. You're Thanks more than for welcome. flying out here from Boston, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how the nuclear holocaust goes. I cannot wait for Fallout 4. <laughs> <laughs> he's not from Boston. He's from Rhode yeah, Island. Yeah, he's from Rhode Island. Island. No, 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 I just found it right here. It's on, on this map. It's Oh, Jesus, just close it. Just close it. This, this, this is over. <laughs> no, he's from Boston. This is what we've decided. But, uh... <laughs> close enough. Well, the next two weeks, there's my brother's Christmas party... Oh, yeah. You're going to Arizona. Ha ha. I'm going to the desert. But your sister is hot, by the way. Don't ever put pictures of her on Facebook again. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. My sisters are hot. <laughs> I can't wait to see them. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> all, of my, all of my friends want to marry your sister. I, I don't want to marry her. Sister. I just said she looked good. Oh, okay. I don't jump to marriage. Okay, only, <laughs> yeah, a like, few, only a few of them want to marry her. The rest of them want to bang her. I didn't even say that. Anyways. He said she's hot. Why are you getting jumped there? 
Because I'm saying what people say. <laughs> you're, putting, you're, put, you're putting words in Dee's mouth right now. You, Straight up. Do you want to bang my sister? No. I'm not, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm we should end it right there. All right. Thank, said about thank you very much for listening, and you keep on rolling. But anyway. <laughs>